thought of writing a book. No. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't have any stories to tell except the ones that others write. Uh, and if it's compelling enough, then I'm happy to tell them. But uh, no, really, <laughs> I I have no imagination. I think and discipline is definitely not there. So if that's out of the question. Yes. Raskin God said that there are more. Uh, writers than readers. So in this time when people are reading less and less and everybody is addicted to the internet and iPads and all of that, is it a challenge for a writer to sort of gain that, like films have a market, so do books have that extra onus of, you know, involving the readers? How do you, as a writer, is that a good challenge when you write? To involve the writer? To involve, involve the, reader? the reader? I think irrespective of whether people are reading or not reading, when you tell a story, it is a challenge. Uh, you have to. I mean, I think it's the same when you write a screenplay, when you're directing a movie. And you know, if you know anybody will agree with me, involving your audience is a task, and you have to keep your story on dot. You have to make sure that there are all that you're hitting the right plot points. All those are technical points. But I think you know what's happening today is because of blogs, because of Twitter, because of uh, everything, Snapchat, Periscope, name it. I don't, you know, everything. Everybody is a writer today. Everybody is a writer. I see some people on my Twitter timeline who write such exquisite things. And, uh, you know, but those are 140 characters. And I see some people who write 500 words of these most, um, the most amazing, expressive uh, things. Everybody is a writer today. So if you want to stand out in your story, A, the discipline thing that Niranjan said. You, have, you know, a, you know an, an average book is anything between 75,000 words to more, like a lakh. 25, you have to get there. You can't stop at 5,000 and say, I'm done, I can't do this. So, um, I think that involving the reader first starts with involving yourself. You have to be committed to the story and then the rest just happens. Also, I meant the challenge for a writer in the sense, this has to be marketed in a... So, does that bog you down? You know? um, I hope it does not bog writers down uh, to think of marketing in the beginning of writing a story. I think if you want to tell a story, you should tell the story because you should write, again I said this before, um, you should write because you have to write, not write because you want to be published. Publishing should only be an uh, outcome, it cannot be part of your uh, process while you're writing, that will just kill your story. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, you don't have to worry about marketing when you initially start writing. But yes, it's a job, I mean I know when I finish the book, we, uh, we worked as a team to get the book out and we are here today because we worked as a team on the marketing and uh, publicity and stuff. I mean, you can't ignore it. You can't sit in, you can't crawl into your hole and say, I'm not going to worry about any of those things. That's part and parcel of being a published author at the end of the day. Um, how many other books? So this book is actually the product of a bigger book that I started and couldn't actually write. Uh, that was more uh, deeply entrenched in mythology than this one. Um, I actually created uh, Ardra for that book and then realized that, hey, I have actually two stories here. I don't need to make them one story. So that's one. And then one, two, three, three novels. Yeah, three novels lying in drafts, which I don't think I'll finish. I think. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. This is a story that actually happened to you three years ago. This happened to you, remember? Your memory has been modified. But yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Inspiration, yeah, it comes from everywhere, not just one from one. So, what's your uh, target, uh, target audience according? Everybody. everybody. Please, everybody read the book. There's no um, target audience. He's uh, a market at all. Guy. Yeah. Sure. One more, one more, one more. Uh, has anybody said you an elder version of Akshara Hassan? That's because, of, that's because of my hair. I don't look anything like Akshara. Akshara, I'm glad she's not here today. Uh, no, no. Thank you, though. Thank you. That's a great compliment. She's really pretty. Thank you, ma'am. There was one other gentleman. Yeah, I can speak over everybody. Yeah, that's yeah, everybody can hear me. Yeah. yeah.
So talking about Instagram and talking about social media and also mentioning that you, uh, your favorite writer, one of your favorite writers is Neil Gaiman. We know that you actually have a personal connection with Neil Gaiman. Can you tell us about that and also what does he do about that thing? Can you tell us about it? Well, uh, I'm just one of those lucky people who Neil Gaiman follows on Twitter. <laughs> And he actually wants to read my book, so I will send it to him at some point. But yeah, no, I'll send it to him soon. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you. Last question. Anyone? Listen, everyone's asking a different question and very intelligent questions. So this doesn't happen. So I hope Sukanya's friends and have you been crying. <laughs> Very quickly and briefly, so people are not for the book. Uh, I think my darkest moment was there is a bit uh, in the book with the river of death, where this character has to go down to the river of death to do something. I will not say what. And uh, actually, I was writing with Nikita, who's there um, in Goa. We were doing a little writing hideout, and she knows that I was so depressed after writing that bit that I needed cheesecake. It was it was difficult for me. I didn't smile for a whole day. So, yeah, that was probably the darkest bit. Thank you. second book is ready. Um, I, we actually met somewhere at the, I think, Marathi Film Fair. Marathi Film Fair. And um, she said, my second book is ready. I said, wow. And she said, will you launch it? I said, yeah. <laughs> um, and then she sent me the copy much later and I started reading it. I'm actually in the process of reading it now and I'm absolutely enjoying it. Uh, I haven't read too much of the fantasy fiction genre in Indian in contempt by any contemporary Indian writer. So um, that could just mean that I haven't read too much, but <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying that. What kind of book you like to read? I read um, I, only fiction, but uh, really depends on my mood. Uh, Vidya, you said that at this stage of the career you would like to explore the dark side. If you could elaborate on that, Hello? what does that, what does that mean and what, what darkness is what kind of dark? I think, you know, there is the dark side in each of us and at some point um, you begin to realize that however well you think of yourself, the dark coexists with the light. So just interesting characters 
women who are uh, very real, therefore, given their weaknesses, their limitations, their, I don't know, uh, any sort of, I don't want to name any character at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm just ready to explore the dark okay, side. Okay, if I could ask you to list three dark things from Bollywood, what would those be? Look, center, please. The three dark things from Bollywood, uh, studios after shoot. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Um, parties that only start after midnight. And uh, the third thing is uh, the insecurity that all of us feel from time to time. Could be. Happens for real? Of course. It's human. Everyone feels insecure. And then, you know, I think in this industry, because everything gets written about, I think, um, you know, your... Every emotion gets magnified. Last question, please. Okay. Yeah? Last. Done? Yeah, done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>